What's up, Knuckle Up? So here we go again. So today we're working on improv weapons. So pretty much a spike that attaches to the back of your hat. Now what I like about this weapon is I can use it in two different ways. Now I'm gonna have Brad come over here with a barrel. So I'm gonna have him use a barrel for the fact that I'm not gonna hit him with this spike because I will cut him. It doesn't take a whole lot. As you can see for these spikes to really do some, some damage here as far as taking the skin. So if I was in this position here, right there, and I'm here and I could be talking, hey, excuse me, hey, look, I don't want any problems. As you can see, this little thing is gonna cause impact. Now again, if I was using this hat more in a situation where I gotta continue that attack, it's gonna be more or less, hey, excuse me, but hey, I don't want any problems. Two, I'm gonna come in with that side, shoot in with this elbow, and then finish off with that back and hand to a knee. I'm gonna continue that attack. I'm not counting on just the swing of my hat to stop the guy. I'm counting on one, two, three, four, five. Continuing that attack. The second way that I would use this is, if I have it on my head, I may take it off if I see somebody approaching me. Because what I'm doing now is, now I'm gonna use it more in a palm motion. So your whole shredding or, or even palming and pulling is gonna rip a whole lot of facial tissue. So basically, if I'm here, I may just be like, hey, excuse me, man. Hey, hey, relax, no, relax. And as I'm coming, I want you to see what I just did. You see that? Imagine if that was your face. I'm ripping holes in somebody's face using this tool and you're not going to see it coming once again whether i'm here and going one two three four five and you can see once again what i just did to it or whether i see the guy approaching from a distance i take off my hat i sit in this position i wait the minute i get some kind of threat recognition i strike and i pull up again I'm gonna do damage to your face. So, the old spike on back of the hat. This is a great improv weapon that you can go ahead and use out in the street. Hey, let me know what you think.